Hello, this is Pastor Carl Gallops, founder of the P.P. Simmons News and Ministry Network. It's amazing to me the number of people who get caught up in a religious or denominational myth and then spread it about as though it is truth, regardless of what the Bible really says about the matter. Jesus and Paul continually dealt with hypocritical, pharisaical, and religious elite on this very matter. One of those denominational myths is the idea that a person should not earn their living from preaching or teaching the Word of God, or if they produce books or videos or other works, they should be given away with no charge. Please hear my heart. I'm always looking for ways to give biblical truth away. For example, in my own life in ministry, I never ask for a penny when I preach a conference. I only ask for a bed and a meal, (laughs) and if the travel's a long way, just to cover that expense. That's it. I don't ask for love offerings. I don't have fees. I, I don't charge. And I give thousands of dollars of my own books away for free every year in various ways and to many different people. I've led the church that I pastor to give away thousands of Bibles every year. Plus, we do several community ministry events that cost the church tens of thousands of dollars, but for the event, we charge the community nothing. It is free, but free only to the person who's receiving the ministry. For example, no Bible is ever free. It might be free to you, but it costs someone somewhere something to produce it, to print it, to distribute it. You have never received a free Bible. Now, as for earning a living from the gospel ministry, It is a sad but funny truth that many will point to the Apostle Paul as the supreme example of one who performed his ministry for free. But really? Well, let's hear what that same man, the Apostle Paul, says himself about the matter. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 3 through 15, Paul talks about this very matter. Listen to his words. This is my defense to those who sit in judgment on me, Paul says. Don't we have the right to food and drink? Don't we have the right to take a believing wife along with us, as do the other apostles and the Lord's brothers and Cephas? Or is it only I and Barnabas who must work for a living? Who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its grapes? Who tends a flock and does not drink of the milk? Do I say this merely from a human point of view? But doesn't rather the law say the same thing? For it is written in the law of Moses, Do not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain. Is it about oxen that God is concerned? Surely he says this for us, does he not? Yes, this was written for us, because when the plowman plows and the thresher threshes, they ought to do so in the hope of sharing in the harvest. If we have sown spiritual seed among you, is it too much if we reap a material harvest from you? If others have this right of support from you, shouldn't we have it all the more? But we did not use this right. On the contrary, we put up with anything rather than hinder the gospel of Christ. Don't you know that those who work in the temple get their food from the temple, and those who serve at the altar share in what is offered on the altar? In the same way, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. So the matter is settled. The Lord has commanded it. I pray that this teaching and contextual biblical understanding has been helpful to you regarding this controversial subject. Simply let the word of God speak.